Gary, you a punk. Lulu. Okay, we ain't got minutes no more. Daddy, I love you again. Wow. Why are you sweating so much, Simba? I hear y'all with the Afrobeats in the man. He's not his first. You better not be dead. Why would you intentionally sit there and allow this woman to look crazy? This is why we need Cam. He lying to her. <laughs> I think Tony's married. Hear me out. You trying to play this game? I'm not trying to do that. Girl, just tell her. Is he scheming? Zach, you just be having cash like that in your pocket? You don't really want people all up in your house, though. Can we not do that, y'all? Gary has done this to her. He's caring about to be one of them hair braiders in Atlanta. You're welcome. <laughs> Who's better than me? What up, loves? And welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo, aka Rizzo, as we're here to recap Tyler Perry's Sisters Season 6, Episode 18. And I'm late. And I know it. But Scout's Honor. Scout's Honor? That's Scout's Honor. I'm going to catch up. Sisters fam, I know I've been neglecting y'all. I've been on the brink. The brink is falling. But I know this is my core. I'm coming back. I got a whole new camera set up. Got a whole camera, lights. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm working with an editor overseas to figure all this shit out, y'all, because little do you know, these projects, every sister's episode takes me about 16 hours from start to finish. That's setup, recording, editing, posting, recording the show so I can put the overlays in it. Comment, 16 motherfucking hours. And let me tell you, that's more than the time that I'm awake. And I've been doing another show. I'm not gonna air my grievances, but please just give me grace. I took two days off because I needed it after that surgery. And I have been trying to catch up ever since. And God knows I need the grace. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for not spoiling things in the comments for me. I haven't been able to actually reply to everything just yet because I'm worried about spoilers. But I did glance over and I saw that you guys were not spilling tea. So I really appreciate y'all for that. A couple of things that I want to talk about. One, if this is your first time, welcome. I don't know how you found me, but I'm so, so glad that you are here. I want to explain that this is not like a recap series that you see on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it is. I have not watched the show yet. This is a live reaction recap. So I will be watching the show along with you. I'll be posting clips and snippets here that I want to pull out. So I'm not posting the whole hour long show. I'm posting moments that are important to me tangents that I may go on based on things that are happening, my hypotheses, my theories, and some other things that I think they should write in because you know, I'll be no. But please make sure you stick around and sound off in the comments. I do ask a question that I want you guys to engage with at the end of the episode. So you'll notice a lot of the comments, people are responding to something. It's the question that I, that I uh, pose at the end or sometimes I'll pose some questions in the middle as well, so. I'll just be going on tangents, so stick with me, y'all. Listen, I do not have time to edit a lot, but before we get into this episode, I do wanna talk about a couple of quick points. I think I have like three or four. First, Preston said he had a surprise for her in the car. Danny got in the car. Where was the surprise? I'm concerned that Preston is becoming controlling. Now, I know he has a reason to be like, what the hell is going on, because she's acting weird, but we have seen him show up before. We have seen him act out and do a lot. And Danny's like, pump the brakes. I think he dropped an air tag in her car to track where she is at all times. I'm worried about you, Preston. Very worried. Secondly, we did not close out on the fact that Hayden said that Fatima knows Tamara. It was just, oh, you know her. And Fatima was like, I don't know her. How do they know each other? What did Tamara tell him that he knew about her? Or is it just because Fatima works in the office and she's seen her before? I might be wilding on that one. Third, Danny got that dress and them shoes on. You can't sneak back in your house in them bright pink shoes. How are you going to get home to Preston after y'all had the morning that you did, the showing up at the job that you did, and now you're gonna be coming in in a whole new outfit? What's going on? And it's not that you gotta check in with your partner like, hey babe, can I go out? No, it's, Hey, this is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going out with the girls. Like, let him know though. I feel like that's not gonna go over well, sis. And then fourth, I still think something is up with Tony and the boys. I think Tony's married. Hear me out. If y'all remember when he was in the rapey van, he was getting out and he was on the phone and he was like, I think she would like that a lot. 
he was talking about his wife and he probably sent her like anniversary roses or something it wasn't he and then she asked him about who he's dating he's like i'm not dating anyone he like made a dating but he's married to someone i don't know something's off something is off with this man i'm gonna figure it out tony all right y'all i'm not gonna spend too much time here please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell so you know when we drop this next episode it will be sooner rather than later because i'm catching up this week without a doubt you heard it here first all right without further ado let's get into this tyler perry sisters on bet season six episode 18. let's go have we met of course we've met yeah have we met what you mean you trying to play this game i'm not trying to do that you don't Jordan, think so you have been no, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you're not just gonna cut me off and play this off. Nope, no. Okay, or, or, Gary is not trying to ruin this moment because he thinks that Jordan is a good man for her. Who am I kidding? Am I my sister something? Yeah, you are. No, don't say my sister's on the way. Did he say my sister's on the way? You're not leaving. Thank you, Jordan. You're not leaving. Something is going on and I need to figure out what it is. Wait a minute. Also, you know, it's also just so weird that the girls are right there eating. They could just merely look to their left and say, look, there goes Gary. Scary Gary over there looking crazy. There we go, Sabrina. And Jordan keeps saying my sister's on the way. Is he trying to hook Gary up with his sister? They trying to have this be a quadruple day? And Gary over here trying to bag Andy at the same time that he's trying to hook up with somebody else. Also, I hear y'all with the Afro beats in the back. I know Gary. Oh, everybody knows Gary. Oh, it's Gary, so I know it's not good. Ladies, um, I think this might be a time where you guys go and you need a drink too, right? Don't you need a drink? Serena, I think you need to go and get, get a drink. Thank you, Danny. That's called a friend. The boys mess around. Loyal. These are friends. I just like that Jordan is not stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because he's sitting up there like, what the fuck is going on? I'm not letting you leave until you figure this out. And somebody tells me what the hell's going on. So, you know, yeah. It's too much unless you guys, uh... You what's going on? What's just wrong? I'm so uh, confused. He said, my sister's on her way. Gary has been dating his sister for a while while he's been f***ing Andy. Boom. You know, Tyler, when I said, can we give Gary another role? I meant, like Hayden's friend. I did not mean can we still include him in Andy's life because now he is also a friend of her new love interest. That's not what I meant. And he's acting strange. As hell. He always strange though. Why the hell is he running out of here so fast? Yeah. I don't care. Just he dated his leave. He's been I want tea. Yeah. No, please. It's brewing. It's, 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 it's hot, girl. It's hot. Danny, God. get it. Hey, I'm here. Come here, man. Oh. I hate Danny! <laughs> Gary went okay. for life. Wait, 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 wait. She said come inside, she didn't mean the whole team. But okay, okay. let's figure this yeah. out then. And you're the perfect wingman. Boy, you know that time. Remember that time two weeks ago? He the perfect wingman, which mean Gary be going out with these guys and bagging joints. Oh, the hey, baby, sis. <laughs> oh my God. The sister is pregnant. Is Shorty pregnant with Gary's baby? Oh my God. Oh my God, and she's gonna be recurring because we know Shorty. I don't know her name, but we know her, right? Everybody's my sister Penelope. <laughs> he said my sister Penelope. Y'all, when I went to this, don't judge me. I went to this cat cafe with my friend. And it was a cat that I said I really liked, and I named her Penelope. Prophetic or no? Gary's outside for me. Uh, you know who's outside. Me and Gary. <sighs> See, now, Andy, this is what you say. <laughs> Sis, let me let you know this whole moment. Do not be quiet for this man. Do, do not be quiet for this man. Gary. This is what I'm saying, ladies. This is, We have to stick. <sighs> the only reason that men do this shit in front of us and around and don't care one is because they know it will take them back and two is because they know we won't say shit. how many times i gotta tell y'all this is a mistress society if you are a second you can get so much you can either shut the up right now and make him give you everything granted money ain't an issue for him hmm girl just tell her just tell her this is wild yeah he is my fiance and they're engaged and 
they're engaged. This is not frozen. Oh, um, three years. Wow, three, three years. Speak up. Yes. You know, my brother here does not <laughs> get excited. This will see, and Andy be or Jordan being excited for Andy is gonna make her stop. To, this, girl, you gotta stop this. This can't be a thing. You have to yes, stop this. Andy, this is your choice, but as your friend, I'm gonna tell you to speak, speak up. Also, Gary, you a punk for walking out and not being there for that moment. You a punk. Didn't he just divorce old girl? The crazy girl? This has only been two years, Max, from season one till now. So how have they been together for three? We can't even look at him. Wow. Andy, he is disrespecting you to your face. Why are you not speaking up? See, and this man is like, look, all three of these women are blowing my spot up. I'm a man, I can do whatever I want. No, no not the Eskimo kids. Okay, we're I, I, I love you. They're gonna stay anywhere. You travel all the time. This is how he's getting her to think. This is how he's staying over Andy's house, because he's traveling. Leave them to just enjoy their, no. I gotta get you home. Also, I gotta get you home? Do we live together? Listen, just, if I'm ever out with my man, and you me, say something, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> It's gonna be this and let me tell you, we in it together. I mean, I'm obviously gonna get 60 and you're gonna get 40, but like, girl, seduce this game this week. No, anyways, look. Ice <laughs> Spice. Andy? He's not Ice Spice. I wanna know all about you. Hmm. Tell me I all about you. you. <laughs> look, it looks like Andy's about to play the game and I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> You're so super interested. All right, Gary. Yeah, we're gonna huddle real quick. Danny, I like that. Huddle with the girls first. Let's figure this out as a team. What are we gonna do? Andy, what do you want me to say? How should we execute? What role do you need me to play, sis? Because this is your world. I'm gonna tell you once what I think you should do, and I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna be by your side the whole time. So don't you worry. We got your back. But the ultimate decision is yours. Delulu. Uh, no. She I'm Delulu, y'all. Come on. No Diana. idea. No. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> And he's having a little girl. This whole time means that the parents here? Apparently. Apparently. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. Gary's not gonna be involved, so he won't even know what they're talking about. Look how happy she is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't wanna ruin her happiness? So you're gonna keep his happy? You're gonna keep her in a state of like delusion? Why would you intentionally sit there and allow this woman to look crazy? Doesn't she look even crazier? Knowing that you know what you know, other people are looking at her and allowing her to look dumb. That's what I mean when bitches is not girls, girls. Look how happy she is. It's a fake yeah. happy. This is why we need Karen. Karen, where you at? This is why we need Karen. Precisely why she deserves to know she's being played. Thank you, Danny. You want to now, Danny, now, Danny, you wild. Cause this is not your business, this is your friend's business. So you really shouldn't be saying anything right now. Make him sweat. Make him holla. Make him lose his breath in me water. Oh, y'all watch Raising the Canaan? That's my shit. I don't watch Power, but I watch this. Legal help center. If you've been injured in an accident, that's not your fault, and you don't have a- Y'all, a commercial book called Legal Help Center just popped up, and I said, these graphics are so bad. This has to be a part of system. Actually, <laughs> real commercial. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Legal Help Center. You got it. Okay, we back at Karen. Who at her door? Who at her door? Oh. Simba, what are you doing at her door? Y'all, wait a minute. Please don't. Ugh. He's a contractor too. So if the so stories go well. But he's married with 17 kids. We can't. Oh my God. What you doing in my house? I'm getting this together for me so quick. Oh, okay. Oh, no we were supposed to have a Honestly, home I thought I was supposed to have Oh no, I just told her I had a beautiful single black mother. Okay. We could have got there without you saying the beautiful part, right? Because if your wife with the seven kids was sitting next to you, would you have said that as well? You wouldn't have, right? So let's, don't do that. This has nothing, 
to do my physical appearance. Okay. Get on discounts. Why are you prepping me? Is it that bad? Yes, it's that bad, girl. Relax. 78,000. I know, I know, but trust me, these are the absolute best numbers that are out there. No, trust me, I'm telling you the truth. I'm is he scheming? Because he tried to push the, uh, you, I promise you could check so much. Are y'all getting me? Because he's so, oh, I'm married with seven kids. Y'all getting me? Why are you sweating so much, Simba? Like I got a good feeling about you. You sure? Now, now I feel like he up to some shit. Because he just keeps sweating. He lying to her. Shit. Hey, is that been some supply chain issues? Ooh, don't say supply chain issues. Y'all. Ooh, baby. Oh, I heard Pamela talk about Oh, Pamela. 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 Pamela that's all if you need any help with anything else. Oh, yeah. Like in your baby. Tips. Yeah. Tips. yeah. Kind of like clothes, toys. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Before you buy anything else, just uh, give me a call. Yeah, so, okay, go. Oh, see. Mmm. Something fishy. You calling Pam or Andy to ask for the money? Pam. Yeah. I mean, wait, is Karen about to be one of them bear braiders in Atlanta? <laughs> she about to have a whole cosmetology. Oh, she got her license though. So can she? I was gonna say practice. Can she do hair out of it? Mm. Things are on this list. She gonna make this work. Say I'm a Her dick appointment call. Pam, get off that bed in y'all side clothes. I'm going to a gay bar. So he ain't never had an issue with that before. We don't say that man's name anymore. Is that the new? Is that the new Calvin? Cause I'm with that. We don't even say his name. <laughs> what kind of training? What kind of research? Does Brian Jordan Jr. do for this role? <laughs> Me to find a fine and him to snap my back like a glow stick. Now, Maurice, I hope you're picking him a little better, though, okay? What did we learn from the Q situation? Learn how to pick him, because you're not doing a good job. The hell if I'm not? Have you not learned your lesson? See? I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna find you a nice guy. We're doing yes. this kind of Your idea of a nice guy is the great though. Please just say your idea of a nice guy is Sabrina. <laughs> I cannot. But also, my friends have never been able to pick a good guy for me. I you like what you like. A nice guy. You know, I say that, and I had one friend pick this guy for me, but she also throws every single man who is older than her my way. You wanna go in? He said if we don't get a court date by tomorrow, we're gonna go get him. They really gonna go kidnap this cute again? He better not be dead. You wanna call Wesley? Oh, I thought she was gonna say call Shorty. You wanna go home? No. Where you wanna right. go, Zach? Well, we just go check on him. Yeah? Oh, okay, that's an option. Uh, why? Well, I, I didn't even think about going to check on him. I really wanna ask the neighbor why she hasn't called. Thanks, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? Why is she so I'm sad? good, I'm good. Check on him, he ain't there. Really? Where is They've he? Been going on. Did they kidnap him and run away? They probably went to the hospital. Oh, Wait, sorry, why? what? Wait, he's in the hospital because he's doing. S oh my god. No, I ain't sure. Why are you asking me that? You see how upset she got when she said, No, I'm not sure? Because people think she's crazy. But something you did scared him away. That's something Fatima did. Please, something, please. I, I just feel like y'all could have done so much better than that very clear just came from the U.S. Mint looking at stash of cash. Zach, you just be having cash like that in your pocket? That baby dealing with all that stuff and he come offering me his- I mean, facts. You see how that was? Like, take this. I get, I kind of get it. Yeah. This no, finger, you the hell of a guy. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> okay, you sorry. I feel like we Boy, resolved this. Bit, man, I, I could use a piece of change. <laughs> but I'm sure she doesn't have insurance on. Here she go with the insurance versus insurance. Back at Karen's and those same two people are walking by. Okay. Are we are we meditating? Also, if Simba is calling her right now, I'm gonna be so pissed, y'all. Hey Pam. Oh Hello. You got the estimate already? See? She's questioning. Oh, you got the estimate already? That's quick. And also that's interesting that he stopped by your house to do it. Oh, it's not that bad. You about to be a kitchen beautician? In the meantime, yeah, yeah girl. So, do what you can. You know I'll do whatever I gotta do to help. Um, Thank you, Pam. 
A black woman will go through any means necessary to get her hair done. Listen, do you know I used to travel all the way to Queens to get my hair done? And then I would travel all the way to Brooklyn to get my nails done. I will follow you. Follow you wherever you may go, okay? You, all you probably gonna house. lose like 10%, 25%. But yeah, that's the thing. You don't really want people all up in your house though. Now they know where you live. Now they see your shit. And people be scheming and scamming and robbing in Atlanta. I'd rather like, can you rent an Airbnb? But then you gotta like say you're doing business out there. I don't know. This some good shit. Mind your business, Pam. But that's the thing, didn't I just tell you, I might have told you guys on the rap shit one when I did my hair. No, I think I told you on, I don't know. Either way, I was concerned about getting my hair done while I was going through that whole A freezing thing because I'm like, and I'm not gonna keep saying that, but because I'm like, they tell pregnant women not to dye their hair. But then I found out that that was a myth. It's not don't dye your hair because of the chemicals, it's don't dye your hair because of the fumes. Like you're not supposed to smell cleaning supplies, bleach, you know, hair chemicals, none of that stuff is is what you're supposed to actually, you know, sniff in when you're pregnant. So for her to be doing this outside in a non-ventilated place, like in her home, that's not safe for her or her baby. Simba yeah. would tell you not to do that. You want me to use my minutes? Pam, we ain't got minutes no more. Don't do that. Wait, so she thinks the guys from the shop will wanna come to her house and help her move some furniture even though they are not working right now. Okay. How many hospitals they been to? You know you can like call hospitals and ask if this patient is there instead of like having to drive to them. Don't say anything. We don't even know his last name. Oh, damn. Did you call her? Y'all, this is why you gotta be careful with who you put your d in. What do you want me to say? I don't want to get you bad. That's all it takes. He don't need to hear this right now though. I don't want to why are you so cool about all this? How many times we ask her? How many times we gonna ask Fatima why she's so cool about this? Stop asking her if you want her to be around, okay? Cause one day she gonna be like, I'm not. You right, this is some crazy shit. You better take what you get and shut the up. Actually I did. She had an abortion? What? Oh, we knew that, right? Am I bugging? Didn't we find out about this on Zatima? When she was talking to old girl? Sally, I lost the baby. Oh, because Fatima is perfect, so we can't have her going to get an abortion. She miscarried, okay. I can't judge anything you've done. I get it, but you was a kid. Facts. She was a kid. He was an yeah. adult. And if I would met you all those years ago, then I wouldn't have been ready to keep me there. And Zach, you was running the streets, acting a fool. You were too immature to be with Fatima at that point. You be thankful y'all didn't meet then because you would have ruined it for this moment today. Zach, you are going to be an amazing father. Come on, you speaking life into your man being a good dad. Um, I can't wait for us to have a baby. Okay. Well. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute because we were told that Zatima season two was before Sisters 6B. That would mean she's already pregnant. So why are they speaking like this? This is incorrect. Also, can we not do that, y'all? Can we have them be like, can we not do that? I'm happy I got that with you. Oh yeah. yeah. Keep talking like that, you might have baby number three. See, cool she's not that. pregnant yet. Fine. Okay, well. I'm not. That's fine, Michael. <laughs> okay. okay, let's change the subject. Yeah. Cause I'm not trying to be baby mama number three. Real close to that front door. All right. Last scene predictions. What do we think? Please have it be, oh, go back to the house. Have Danny blow the spot up. Have Danny blow the spot up. And then the final, final scene can be Simba coming over and trying to kiss Karen. Boom. You're welcome. <laughs> Who's better than me? Thank you. No. How did you meet Gary? Perfect. Wow. Off to a good start, guys. So Let me go back. How'd you meet Gary? Oh, yeah. Why did I date? Danny. You are when he's not. I hate you, Danny. Danny. Um, I still can't believe Oh, my God. Is he going to do the same exact thing that he did for Andy? I mean, apartment. Oh, oh. 
Get in my car. Apartment. Get in the car. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh I'll show you guys my dress. <laughs> it better not be the same dress that, oh my God. I she, really she said, girl, eat. Stop talking, just girl, eat. Um, Andy, so you hear how she's talking about you now? Drop it. Even though this isn't about her. So let, let me, reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. This is not an emotional moment. Reel it in, reel it in. Okay. Actually, a nice man bought it for her. That's the only one she has. Andy, come on. Oh, really? Yeah. Come on, Andy. Raj. He has a Gary, too. Wait. Andy, if y'all are not going to be able to hold this much longer. <laughs> Danny. Yo, Danny is my bank. Danny, I love you again. Also, got to think back. Danny is on a date right now with Tony. I don't love you that much. They have a whole double life, and you not even know about it. Uh, See, like, sh like this, I would be so embarrassed if I was the joint. Because y'all are sitting here kikiing with me, joking and laughing in my face. She going to say, I would know. Uh, yeah, baby Gary, come on. Yeah, and she's going to hold on to this, so Gary will never know when. Uh, why Tony pulling her away like that? He knows something is up. Tony get down to the bottom of this. Y'all just leaving her? Did Andy say it's okay? Look at Danny in the background. Danny in the back is like, let me see what they doing though. This is so weird. When are you going to say something? Because if you really like Jordan, you can't be doing this to him either. I get you doing this to Gary and the joint, but you can't do this. This is not how you and Gary and Jordan can start off. I'm trying, I'm trying. You got it. Okay. Oh, this is so cute, though, if it wasn't about Gary, because he's been talking to his sister about her. Mm, he's nervous because he likes her. I'm glad she met Gary. I'm glad yeah, she met be in this Gary. Wow. This swindler. Yo, something's burning, nothing. Something's I'm burning. burning. I can't do this, y'all. Something else is burning. We got Lord AK burning. We got Karen Salam burning. And now this man. Okay, let's Don't go. bring the pregnant woman out there. I can't do it. What's wrong? Why are you waiting? Look at her. I can't do that to her. And that's like. Can you stop saying you can't do that to her? Gary has done this to her. She deserves to know. She deserves to know, y'all. Also, real interesting that Danny is saying she deserves to know that she, her man is doing something behind her back when Danny is over here doing something behind her, her man's back. Okay. Pregnant. So? Good if we do this. Who cares? I'd rather her do it now than raise a child with this bum ass. Do that to another black woman. Oh, I'm the wrong one to say that to you. Cause Correct. all I heard was that he's over two black women. The third one to be exact. Deserves to be exposed. She deserves to know before she brings his Thank you, Danny. into the world. Wait, what? She heard? Don't stop the show. Don't stop the show. Don't stop. What did you do? Dang it! Oh my God. Easy question, y'all. Easy question, y'all. This was a great, this was a great episode. My goodness. Great job, great job, great job. Easy question. Would you tell this woman yes or no? Like, I need all of the layers because would you tell her? If it's no, would you still continue with Jordan? If it's yes, would you tell Jordan? Are you telling her then and there? Are you telling Gary to tell her or you'll do? I need the whole world in my hands. What are you guys doing? Sound off in these comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to shut this down ASAP so I can edit this and get it out to you guys as quick as possible because we will be watching episode 19 on time. Okay? All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this Tyler Perry Sisters season six, episode 18 with me, your girl, Donna Rizzo. And please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.